Let's move on to the next question. Function f and g are defined by the following. Okay, good to know. Now, part one, we have to find the values of k for which the equation this has two equal roots. And solve the equation, this is this in these cases. So let's find out. So first thing, let me write down f of x. So f of x is k minus x is equal to 9 x plus 2. Right. Now we can, of course, simplify. That will be what? Uh, kx, so k minus x times x plus 2 equal to 9. That will be kx plus 2k minus x squared minus 2x. Let's send everything to one side. You will have x squared plus 2x minus kx plus 9 minus 2k is 0. Okay, great. Now we can simplify this. Uh, we will have x squared plus factorize x. You have 2 minus k x. Here we have 9 minus 2k. So obviously this is the value of 1. This is the value of a, b, and c. Now, given that they have uh, two equal roots, they are equal, it means that it will meet on only one point. So b squared for a c have to be 0. So b squared is what? b squared is 2 minus k squared minus 4 times 1 times 9 minus 2k. Now uh, simplify. You will have what? Let's see, uh, you will have 4 minus the value of 4k plus k squared minus 36 plus 8k is 0. That will be k squared. And then we have minus k plus 8, that should be plus k, 4k, sorry. And then we have for this, that should be minus 32 is 0. So now again, we have a quadratic equation to hopefully find two values of k. So factorize, you will have k times k. That should be 8 times 4. We need plus 4, should be plus 8 minus 4. So k can be equal to minus 8, and k can be equal to 4. So we have two values of k in this case. So we can do case number 1, when k equal to minus 8, our equation was what? Solving the equation, um, here we have x squared plus 2 minus k, 2 minus minus k should be 10, x, that should be 9 minus 2k, so 2 times minus 8 should be minus 16, so 9 minus minus 16, that should be 25, equal to 0. So factorize, let's see what do we get, we get x times x, 5 times 5. To get plus 10, that should be plus and plus. x can be minus 5. That is one value. Now in the case of k equals to the value of 4, what do we have? We have x squared. 2 minus k should be minus 2x. And then 9 minus 8 should be plus 1, right? So 9 minus 2 times 4 should be just 1, right? Now we can try to factorize. Um, this one, let's see what happened. In this case, we have 9 minus 2k, we get 1, and we need to have minus 2. That will be x times x, 1 is 1 times 1. To get minus 2, we have to have minus 1 minus 1. x will be the value of 1. So in these two cases, we have two possible values that we can get for this equation. Now for part 2, we have to solve the equation this, when k is 6. Okay, so right now f of x is what? f of x is equal to 6 minus x because given k is 6. Now, this will be 6 minus g of x, that should be 9 over x plus 2, equal to 5. So from this, continue, that should be 9 over x plus 2. 6 minus 5 is 1, so cross multiply, you have 9 equal to x plus 2. From this, you will have x equal to 7. Okay, this is 7. Okay, 
4 part 3. Now for part 3, express g inverse in terms of x, so 1 by 1, g inverse first let y equal to g. This is pretty easy. So we have this as g. Let me write this down, this is actually 2 here. Now we have to make x become subject, so we cross multiply. You have xy, uh, xy plus 2y equal to 9. So xy is equal to 9 minus 2y. Now finally x have to be 9 minus 2y divided by y. Following this, we have to write g inverse, it is in terms of x, that will be 9 minus 2x over x. So that is part 3 of the question. This is a question in relation to functions.